it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so here we go with the stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow-up strikes on the floor. We are underway. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Really nice defense there. Straight right hand on the Oh, he got him real good, too. Oh, oh, right hand. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Left hook counter there yet again. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, he lands a massive kick. Here. He checked that last one. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Back and forth we go. Unable to connect with the right. Found the target with that left hand. Beautiful one-two punch. 
Nice body shot. Oh, and it's just open up on his forehead. We'll keep an eye on it. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. There's that body shot. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Going back to the body work now. Eats a jab there. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming by. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Misses with the left hook. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard. And... Oh! Oh, uppercut. Back to his feet. Shots being landed on both sides. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh! Feels like the beginning of the end. Big left hand. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not cut. That's it! Oh, my goodness. One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.